I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in And the last out, see me coming Been popping, sports center from a little I was watching Spin a bag like I'm Rafa, call that top spin How could I not win? This is top ten From the bottom, got a sniff out the top wins I sit back, reflect, and do it again Hardest milli is the first, now we got ten Talking ten, 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 ten times ten and again I am number one, not number two. If I'm not the one. Welcome, everybody, to New Orleans and the iconic Caesars Superdome, the long term home of the All State Sugar Bowl, which this year, of course, is part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number nine seed in this playoff, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. You're in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. Great energy as this playoff game is about to get underway. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. So Notre Dame's offense has the football first here today. Well, the energy in this building curse is just going to pick up as this sugar ball unfolds. As they Great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Crossing the 35. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Here early in the game, the defense right away realizes what they're up against. Having an opportunity to move this receiver around to give him a chance to get out in space are the plays that can really get a new set of downs on first and ten they'll look to throw and they've got him for a sack a loss and some sacks this time they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback it's complete what a grab on third and long looking downfield it's Leonard and he's brought down offense. and then they corral him for a loss you can tell they worked hard on that in practice easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield decision is to try out the field goal team and he's got it from 49 yards out what a powerful kick the snap the hold the kick everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense to throw. It's Leonard. He's running out of time here. It's a sack field goal last time out. Can they open things up on this possession? Again, thrown out of the RPO and it's complete. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. No stopping. He takes it all the way. Touchdown, Bama. A 
quarterback. How about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. That's exactly what we saw right there. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. He shreds the tackle. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. To throw, it's Leonard. Pressure is coming. Sacked, it's a long The offense starts with a short field. Quarterback keeps the football. Gets the first and still runs the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, tied. The key to me in this is the quarterback gets the ball out of his hands early. Allows the receiver to run underneath that deep ball on that post route for a beautiful touchdown. around and make something out of nothing going for a big play downfield deep ball is caught for a huge gain here takes it all the way to the house touchdown crimson tide well that's a well oiled machine right there everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles and when they're rolling like this it results in quick and positive results Try the ground game here with the running back. And that's a solid game of the drive coming up. This is a tough third and long. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Notre Dame. That's just textbook right here. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. Got a nice spin to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. Come up with a stop here. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. On fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. Field goal try, no good. The deficit remains 17 points off the miss. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. It's reeled in. It's young. Breaks loose at the 40. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. It's caught downfield. That's a big game deep in enemy territory. Ball here, not much time remaining before the end of the half. Looking for his big tight end. And he's got it. He's brought down at the seat. It will come out there trying to get three points before the half. And it's good right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Time break. The turn begins inside the 10. The coverage team brings him down in the final play of this first half. 
And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. But the kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. That's it for us from our EA Sports. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Here's the throw deep downfield. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. And he'll step out of bounds, but that is a huge takeaway for this defense. Wow, a risky call by the offensive coordinator. Playing with the lead in the playoff in the second half, throwing the football. I don't disagree with it, but now you give this defense a chance to create a turnover, and they capitalize here with the pick. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. Brought down after a solid run by the senior. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. You trust that offensive line to come up with a first down, and they get it. Now they're running on the toss. Heads out of bounds. Looking to pass this time. He's hit as he throws it. He's got it near the end zone. Now for a first and goal. It's a quarterback keeper. They'll make it in the end zone. Touchdown, fighting Irish. Not that execution on fire. That's why this team made it. Almost a full play. That's exactly right. Being able to mix in the run with a pass, picking up first downs, and eventually coming up with the touchdown. That is a tough thing to do, and they made it look easy. Set for the first and ten now. Finding some room with the 25. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. The old toss play. Toss play to the outside. He's got room looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Irish. Still plenty of life left. That's a crucial response for this offense. They've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here, sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game sets while we have a chance. Looking to pass, it's Milrow. Receiver makes the catch, takes it, and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late and potentially get sacked. You've got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. 100 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just... Second down and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. <laughs> Couldn't quite get in, but they're... Now, will they give it to him again to see if he can break the plane? <laughs> And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. That's a crucial touchdown, Kirk. The offense adding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Yeah, it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. And he'll make it into the end zone to increase the lead even more. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. That'll be a safety. 
Well, Chris, to me, that really wraps this game up. Maybe if they had a little bit more time, there might be a chance for them to overcome this safety. But this late in the fourth quarter, down now multiple possessions. This one's all but decided. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side, suddenly, Kirk, their season is over. But it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It, you know, it's easy to focus on the team that advances. And they, they should be happy, obviously. They had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, they, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this year. Hopefully they'll be able to learn from this and come back even stronger next year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.